2015 compared to the long-term record was more than a degree and a half Fahrenheit warmer than the 20th century average, which is quite a bit. Uh, compared to the previous record year, it was a quarter of a degree Fahrenheit, um, which may not sound like a lot, but usually when we set new records, they're incremental, uh, you know, hundreds of a degrees at a time. Uh, this was a quite a big jump to a quarter of a degree Fahrenheit. That's in NOAA's record, the largest leap from an existing record to a new record that we've had. Our colleagues here at NASA also indicated it was the warmest year on record. Of course, the NOAA record, uh, warmest year on record. The Met Office in the United Kingdom and several uh, independent, the J Japanese Meteorological Agency and some independent academic groups as well have all kind of unanimously uh, determined 2015 as the warmest year on record. And, and that really speaks, that unanimity is an important thing to, to look at. You know, when you have several groups looking at data in different ways and they come up with the same answer dramatically, uh, we're very confident 2015 was indeed not just the warmest year on record, but kind of kept the other records at arm's length. I think where we were taken aback a little bit, and I know I was taken aback a lot, was when we saw the numbers come out for October, November, and December. Um, if we see those continue into 2016, um, you know, that, that's a, a big deal scientifically.